Welcome to Bozeman Deaconess Hospital. Bozeman Deaconess is a Joint Commission accredited License 3 Trauma Center located in Gallatin County in the state of Montana. Today we'll demonstrate the correct procedure for processing and packaging a specimen for a prothrombin time, also known as ProTime or PT. This is a laboratory test. For shipment to Bozeman Deaconess Hospital, this procedure should be followed if there is a delay in transport of greater than 24 hours. We will now go through the step-by-step -step process to obtain the platelet pore plasma for ProTimes. For the collection instructions, the following specimen is required for ProTimes. It will be a full blue top sodium citrate tube. Notice on the tube that there is a minimum fill line. The specimen needs to be up to that line in order to be acceptable. Now immediately after the draw you're going to invert the tube several times to mix the blood with the anticoagulant. The original whole blood specimen may be sent unspun if the testing can be performed within 24 hours of the draw time. If there's a delay in transport, the specimen must be double centrifuged in order to prepare the platelet pore plasma specimen and then frozen. This process is critical for accurate results. We will centrifuge at 1500 RCF or 3200 RPMs. For the Unico, Unico FX power spin centrifuge, it is required to spin for 3400 RPMs for 15 minutes. We'll use the plugs in the inserts if needed so we can easily remove the tube from the insert. So we will be spinning for 15 minutes. And then we will carefully remove the plasma from the tube, being careful to avoid the buffy coat, which is the layer of cells between the plasma and the red cell layer. You're gonna use a transfer pipette to transfer the plasma. into the plastic aliquot tube. This specimen will be spun again for 15, 15 minutes in the power centrifuge at 3400 RPMs. And after, again, you would use the insert plugs so that you can easily remove the tube without pouring from the centrifuge insert. You can see after spinning, sometimes you get a little cell button in the bottom of the tube. You want to avoid this when we transfer into our next tube. So we will again remove the plasma into a clearly labeled plastic tube and you want to leave about 250 microliters in the bottom of that tube so as not to pull up that cell button and that you will discard. The double centrifuge plasma should be aliquoted into half a mil or one ml aliquots into clearly labeled tubes. The tube should be labeled with the patient's name and date of birth, the date and time the specimen is drawn, and the collector's initials. You want to also put on a citrated plasma pour sticker that lets us know the specimen type. And then in order to freeze it, we're going to wrap it, the whole label, with clear packing tape. This will ensure that the label will stay on during the freezing and thawing process. Um, now the number of tests ordered are going to, will determine the number of aliquots needed. Generally one aliquot or two per test ordered. 
The specimens then should be frozen at minus 20 degrees Celsius and the specimens must arrive in a frozen state. These have been pre-frozen. We use the Sarsted cooling transport container for shipping of frozen specimens and each container can accommodate two sample tubes. Prior to mailing, we're going to want we're going to put the Sarsted container into the freezer section. You want to shake it, mix it up, freeze it. It needs to be frozen in a horizontal position and without the styrofoam transfer or transport cover. The patient specimens must be frozen separately prior to shipping and then placed into the Sarsted cool transport container. The Sarsted container can then be placed in the styrofoam container and secured with the rubber band. The specimen is now ready for transport or shipment. Thank you for watching. We hope this has been helpful.